Thanks for joining us today. My name is Sridhar Ande and I am a Security Program Manager in Azure Sentinel Customer Experience Engineering team. I hope you enjoy today's talk. Today, we are going to talk about a rare situation that I recently experienced on Azure Sentinel Analytical Rules. You might already know what is Azure Sentinel Analytical Rules and its importance. But let me start with Analytical Rules 101. Azure Sentinel Analytical Rules helps security teams to discover threats and anomalous behaviors to ensure full security coverage for your environment. After connecting data sources to Azure Sentinel, the first step is enable all the analytical rules that comes default with, the, with this data connector. When there is a suspicious activity, these analytical rules alerts you generate incidents to triage and investigate and respond to threats with automated tracking and remediation process with the help of playbooks. I can say analytical rules are very important to discover threats and suspicious activity in your environment. The idea behind this video tutorial is to bring awareness and share my recent experience where a couple of scheduled analytical rules got auto-disabled. The reason for this behavior has been documented on Microsoft Docs. There are two types or there are two reasons. One is a transient failure and another one is a permanent failure. A transient failure never auto disables rule due to any failures. In the event of predetermined number of consecutive permanent failures of the same type and the same rule, Azure Sentinel stops trying to execute the rule and takes the following steps. The first step is it will disable the rule and it will add the word auto disabled to the beginning of the rule name and it will also add the reason of the failure at the rule description. Let's see if I have any auto disabled rule on my environment. For example, if I go to my analytical rules, if you see here, there is no way I can see I have some auto disabled rules. Let's search for auto disabled. See here, this is my auto disabled rule. And as we learnt here on Microsoft Docs, it is the rule is disabled, the first one, the rule got disabled. And the second thing is auto disabled has been added to the title of my analytical rule. And it also added the reason to the description. The reason is the alert rule was disabled due to too many consecutive failures. And the reason is workspace used in the query was not found. Verify all workspaces in the query exist. As I mentioned, it's a rare occurrence that a scheduled query rule fails to run, but it can happen. When it happens, there is no easy way to determine the presence of any auto disabled rules. Security teams has to manually check is there any auto disabled rules in their environment. To fill this gap, I have created a playbook which monitors your Azure Sentinel analytical rules periodically. If it finds any analytical rule has disabled with title auto disable as a prefix, it will inform security teams by notifying them via email or post messages to Teams channel. Interesting, right? Okay, let's get, get into action. Navigate to Azure Sentinel GitHub repo and go to playbooks here. 
this is playbooks once you are here in the playbooks go to send azure sentinel analytical rule health notifications i'm trying to find yeah see send analytical rules health notifications click on the playbook this is my readme okay so very simple okay and i also mentioned uh when it gets auto disabled the reason okay and uh, i have given the post deployment steps also we will follow the step by step let's deploy this playbook to my environment click on deploy to azure i would like to put it in my new repo like rules demo click on ok and i would like to put it in best us2 ok my admin sock and resource group is admin mailing list is like uh, let's say my email id and I would like to give the team's ID here and the channel ID and click on review and create the deployment process takes two to five seconds it's it deployed successfully let's go to my github repo sorry to my resource group resource group so still i'm not able to find okay let's go to here click on rules demo so it's creating my connections already created successfully refresh yeah now i'm able to see my playbook here now I would like to show you the best practices when you deploy any playbook not only this playbook if you deploy any playbook from azure sentinel github repo please follow the steps click on the playbook the first step is click on api connections and if you see any connections under api connections click on each connection here and click on edit api connection and authorize the connection here i am authorizing my connections here and click on save successfully edited api connection the first connection has been authorized now the second connection okay click on authorize okay and select the account once authorization is success click on save now my second connection also authorized successfully once all these connections are authorized now go to logic app designer once you are in logic app designer you will see no errors like for example no connection errors on any step that means all your api connections are successfully authorized here in this playbook i would like to explain the playbook components here it will as of now this playbook is triggering every 30 minutes you can change this to as per your requirements like every hour or every five minutes or every 30 minutes whatever you like okay the way it works is i am using azure sentinel api call here where i am bringing all the analytical rules from your environment from your subscription from your azure sentinel log analytics resource group and from your log analytics workspace name these are the three parameters that i am providing to 
the REST API, I'm getting all the analytical rules. Once I have all the analytical rules, I am parsing the JSON and as I am getting the result in a JSON format, I am doing for each loop, I'm checking the condition, okay? If any rule starts with auto disabled, then if it is true, then I am adding to an array variable because if you have more than one auto disabled rule, I don't want to send email or message for each for each rule. So that's why I'm appending everything to an array variable. Once this loop is successfully completed and then it comes to the section, if the array variable length is greater than zero, then I am sending an email here. Okay, send email. Okay, and also post message in a chat or channel. This is the logic of playbook, but we are missing the post deployment steps that are defined in readme dot readme section. Let's go back to Azure Sentinel GitHub repo and let's go to the the post deployment steps. As I mentioned, the post deployment steps we successfully completed API connections. We authorized both teams and also the Outlook connections. So those are uh, authorized successfully. And the second prerequisite is this playbook or logic cap deployed using managed identity. Sorry about that, managed identity. So by using managed identity, we can grant permissions using Azure role-based access control. So in order to communicate with Azure Sentinel REST API, go to your, your logic app here, click on identity and click on Azure role assignments and click on add role assignments and select subscription and select a role called contributor and click on save. So you are successfully given contributor permissions on Azure Sentinel playbook. So let's go back to your playbook here. Click on Logic Cap Designer. So I don't want to wait till uh, it triggers because the current schedule is 30 minutes. I would like to trigger this playbook on demand. Click on Run Trigger. So successfully check the trigger of Logic App. So we will see here, that means I have 179 analytical rules. Out of 179 analytical rules, I have only one rule that is auto disabled, okay? So it sent a message to my mailbox and also it posted a message to the team's channel. This is the email I received with high importance saying attention needed. Following Sentinel analytical rules from admin SOC have been auto disabled. Admin SOC is my Azure Sentinel workspace name. The email also has the alert title and the same message has been posted to my team's channel. With this playbook, security teams can determine the presence of any auto-disabled rules round the clock and provides near real-time visibility via email or Teams notifications. Thank you for joining us. I hope you found this video useful. 
for more details on Azure Sentinel and how to get the most from the product, please check out our resources, our technical community blogs, and also docs.microsoft.com. Thank you.